Hello you guys, it's Colatius and Latius and Princess. I got another request for you about a uh, spooky surprise, so aka Cheris's gift. To be honest with you, I don't know if this is the first time this event has ever returned because I know this event came June the 4th. So with that being said, I'm just going to see, uh, see what my first one is. So, ha, I wasted $50. Perfect. I just wanted to see what my first one was, if I was just going to play once only. So it was the stockings. So in this case... No, no, no. What? Oh, it's no H. So you got a request for me to show you this. Now, Princess, I do have some advice, and for anybody that plays pavilions, if you're going to play a pavilion, do not leave it until the next time, because that thing I've read, it's called a pity timer or something, that thing resets. So if you spend a 1000 now, don't expect to it being discounted later. Expect that 1000 to be there too. So if you say, so say you finish a suit at 3000 no. It won't be like two thousand, but it will add on. So maybe four or five thousand. So make sure you understand how these pavilions work, so we don't waste anything here. There we go. Because that means you're paying more for the suit later than now. I don't know if I said that right. Look at the doll. Yeah, the dolls you totally cannot fucking see. Why would you? So here she is. Well, actually, let's do this background. Let's fix this one. Okay. So, oh, here she is. A very gorgeous suit. I love her a lot. And then the dolls that I guess you could not see unless you do free dressing mode. And then, of course, these items here. so pretty and then this one here i love using this item a lot this this is a nice to use but it just because it's so huge but that's don't listen to me it's still really uh nice to use so no no and then her special pose I really, really like her special pose a lot. It's really cute. Aww. You know what? I'm going to start my videos in the beginning saying, how is you guys day grateful that you've been? Because the more I'm asking more people that, the more I'm opening myself up and I'm noticing these changes like people notice me more instead of actually me being in the background for once in my fucking life especially when I went out yesterday I'm like screw you anxiety screw you symptoms come and eat at me all you want I went out and I had an amazing time and and it's just like I'm just noticing people more and people notice me more because I'm like one guy in Costco said, did you lose weight? And my first reaction was, I'm surprised. I'm like, how would he know that? But then I'm like, wait a second. I've been going out more this past year than ever in my entire life. So I'm like, yeah, people are going to notice you more if you keep going and you're not. In well, yeah, they might notice you if you're an asshole, but you don't want to be that person. It's not worth it. So I'm like, ooh, he noticed that because he said something later. He's like, I don't remember exactly how he paraphrased it, but he said, like, because I'm seeing you coming more. Or something. I don't think he said it like that, but I think you know what I mean to say. Now, the annoying issue is I didn't just lose this weight this week because I started to eat better. It's because my anxiety was pretty bad this week, which tanked my eating to... Like, I had to literally force the hell out of myself to eat, which means I ate much less. 
of course I knew the reason why I'm like it didn't worry me one bit well it did because I'm like oh my god I'm not I'm barely almost eating anything but when my appetite returns I have definitely picked up on losing weight is good and how not to overeat I'm like great I know I didn't mean for this video to go off topic I'm just saying just to share my awesome day and went to Walmart after that started a conversation with the cashier with my dad because my dad is always the chatterbox the person I've always wanted to be and I don't mean it in a bad way but I mean it like the one that just doesn't give a shit about anything if you know what I mean that's just carefree just loves to talk to people because I always got mad at my dad I'm like dad please don't say that that's embarrassing but not anymore I started chatting up with the guy he was amazing he was really funny and then BJ's oh wait no oh yeah BJ's last it's like I call it the sister to Costco I went there I said greeted the person in the door hi I greeted a lady that that I think I made her day because you know she's like thank you for asking about my day and I'm like that makes me feel so good and it makes me feel good about myself because not only does it make me feel happy but I'm happy that I cheered up somebody's day that hey they might have had a bad day or something and just those little things are so good you know and then in Chick-fil-A although I couldn't talk because this was the drive through and since I was obviously on the right um, I would have to yell or not yell but because he, the guy said for my dad I cannot hear you with I guess all the noise happening so before my dad left I I made sure to be as loud as I can so that I think the guy heard me so I'm like you know it's so true because all this time I'd always remember what I said earlier I'd always be the person that was the one that would stand back just staring at people just looking at this dark hole of a pit just the behind person that always wondered what it's like to be the front the leader I never knew that but now I do and it feels great because I'm not actually invisible and I actually like that feeling it's a nice feeling guys for the first time in 11 years I think I should make a video about this in a different video but but stuff you know because again the more I'm going out the more I'm like noticing things it, it, like for my walks I notice the same people the dogs you know the sounds and I'm like holy shit it's stuff I really never noticed until now <laughs> you know and it's like it's so well worth it. Cherises gift says, I hope you have a wonderful day. No matter how much you're struggling, me, the real Angela, and Cherises gift say, I love you all so much. I hope you have a wonderful day no matter what you're going through. And always remember, no matter how tough it is, things will always get better. Always remember that. I love you guys, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.